Kayla Brees. You know, I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, and I've noticed that a, a fair amount of people keep using the word hypothesis and theory as if they're the same thing. They're not. Uh, so I just wanted to do a little video on what I see as the difference. But we'll start simple. What is phenomena? Some say they think it's something extraordinary, magical even. It's not. It is merely an observable occurrence. The definition that it's something supernatural or awesome is proof that popular culture and thusly popular language is confusing and overstepping its boundaries. Phenomena is nothing but an observation. Okay, so what is a hypothesis? Well, a hypothesis is a tentative explanation for an observation um, of phenomena or scientific problem that can be tested by further investigation. The term itself is Greek and means to suppose. Scientists imagine and base hypotheses on previous observations or even on extensions of scientific theories. Teachers of science in primary schools have often oversimplified the meaning of the term hypothesis by calling it something just as simple as an educated guess. The error here is the lack of emphasis and complete omission of the concept's most important and characteristic feature, which is to explain patterns observed in nature or to predict the outcomes of experiments. A hypothesis is not just a guess, it's a prediction about future phenomena. In a nutshell, a hypothesis is an uncertain but soon to be tested explanation of phenomena. Okay, so what is a theory? Well, a theory is a successful hypothesis. In the same way a hypothesis works, a theory is an analytic structure designed to explain a set of observations. Sometimes theories are falsified, meaning that an explicit set of observations contradicts some fundamental assumption of that theory, but more often theories are just received uh, and revised to conform to new observations. Sometimes a theory is set aside by scholars because there's no way to examine its assertions analytically yet. Uh, these may continue on in the popular imagination until some means of examination is found, which either refutes or lends credence to the theory. By employing the scientific method, we can best illustrate how phenomena, hypotheses, and theories connect. It consists of these steps. 1. Asking a question about the phenomena. 2. Making observations about that phenomena. 3. Hypothesizing an explanation for that phenomena. 4. Predicting a logical consequence of the hypothesis. 5. Testing the predictions in a controlled environment. And 6. Creating a theory based on the evidence collected during the experiments. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. What do you think about the difference between theory and hypothesis? What do you think about evolution theory, string theory, abiogenesis theory, and other theories? Are they mislabeled? Are they really hypotheses? Is a theory really that concrete? Now, I'm not a scientist, but I do read a fair amount of science books, as well as science fiction books. Science is a tool to figure out the true nature of reality. It can theorize only what it observes, which may or may not be true in every case. In order to say if something is absolutely true, every single observed phenomenon must be in accordance with the theorem. And even then, in a universe as complex as I imagine ours to be, 
It's completely impractical to claim anything as absolute truth. For example, Newton's theory of gravity was later revised in order to account for the unusual orbit of Mercury. Thank you, Einstein, and the theory of relativity. But the key to a hypothesis and a theory is it must be falsifiable, meaning evidence can be discovered in order to prove or disprove its assertions, its predictions. The main difference between a theory and a hypothesis is simply the amount of observations and tests that have been conducted. A theory is an incredibly hard to create because it must continuously, continuously withstand scrutinizing tests within countless controlled environments and from countless peers. Unfortunately, the word theory and hypothesis are used synonymously, but they are not the same. Put simply, phenomena is the discovery. The hypothesis is the imagined prediction. And the theory is the edict, at least until it's disproven. This is Caleb Brees. What do you know?